as life passes by, more and more of us gaze at a screen. And it's mobile games which are gripping many. I think there's a big kid in everyone, so I don't mind it. So uh, I also do stuff like the word games on there as well, and Sudoku, Candy Crush. Everyone does Candy Crush. There has been an occasion where I've played a game and I've missed my stop. I think it's like a guilty pleasure. I think that like everyone kind of plays it secretly. Yeah. <laughs> it used to be that gaming was something you do at home, at a computer. Now they can follow you wherever you go, and they're getting better at reeling us in. But when it comes to games like this, on your mobile, unlike any other category, there are more women playing than men. Once it was Angry Birds, but now Candy Crush is the world's most played smartphone game. And while men outstrip women in so-called hardcore and regular gamer categories, among casual gamers, such as those who use mobiles, 27% of women say they play versus 24% of men. Journalist by day, gamer by night. The new statesman's Helen Lewis has been playing since childhood and she's glad to see more women getting involved. Those big fighting shooting games are blokey and those are the ones that dominate the big blockbuster market. That's not the same when it comes to smartphone games which are a lot more kind of about puzzle based stuff and therefore a lot more accessible to everyone. And what we discovered with that is there were lots of women who wanted to play games who just couldn't before. And actually, had we given them the chance all along, who knows how many of them might have played it for, for decades. Harmless habit? Not always. Addiction specialists know that games can consume players, and it doesn't help to have them easily at hand. I would suspect a social dimension to gaming is much more appealing to women, and, and the fact that friends will also be playing it and your comparing scores might drive that. Smartphone games are adding to an industry already making almost £2 billion in Britain every year and adding to some people's lives. Still, though, it's good to look up and around sometimes. Ty Genwright, Sky News.